Hey guys, Scott here from Red Rock Maintenance, and today I'm going to do a review on the Steel HSC 46C trimmer. Alright guys, so this trimmer has been really good to me. Uh, like I said, I've had about seven years now. I bought it when I first bought my business. Um, when I was looking at trimmers, I was looking at a couple of different ones, like the low end to higher end ones. And this one is actually a uh, the low, lower end one. It's um, I just looked online. It says it's more of a home homeowner one. Um, but for me, that's okay. I don't really do much hedge trimming anymore. We might do like two or three jobs a uh, season. Uh, so this one gets us through really quickly. Um, so let me tell you some things I like about this trimmer first. Um, so right now. These blades, I've never sharpened them. They are still sharp as ever um, for the amount of trimming we've done. I would thought think that I would have needed to sharpen them, but they are still super sharp. Uh, they've stayed a lot sharper than my Kobe system one. Um, so I like that they're, they're nice and sharp. The uh, blade length here, I believe it's 22 inches. Um, it's a good length for me. Um, there's a couple of hedges that I do that are uh, really uh, far back, but I do use a pole trimmer for those ones. Um, this one I can reach pretty far with it. Um, this one also is, is not that heavy. I think it's only about five pounds or so. Um, so it's really, really light. I can use this for quite a while without it hurting my back. Um, so I like that about this trimmer. Uh, so let me show you the model number quickly. So it's a, oops, sorry, I got a crazy roof here. So the HSC 46C there. Um, so the other thing I like about this is really, really well balanced. It feels really good in your hands. Um, it's nice and like, yeah, it's just really balanced. So when I'm going along, it's really easy. Um, and it's got the bar here, so you can hold it any way you want. So you can take it and just twist it and hold it on whatever side you need to do. So if you're left-handed or whatever, you can you hold it that way. Uh, yeah, it feels really good in your hands. Um, so the things that I don't like about this trimmer, one is the fuel tank. The fuel tank is super small. Um, there's one job we do is a pretty big hedge. I think it takes me about a, uh, a full tank, tank and a bit to do that hedge. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a really small uh, fuel tank on this. I haven't looked at fuel tanks on other trimmers, but the fuel tank for me on this is super small. If, if you were doing uh, a lot of hedge trimming jobs, if you had one big hedge trimming job that would take you a day, um, you probably have to fill this up two or three times. Um, so it's kind of annoying we have to keep on filling your equipment up. But yeah, that's one thing I don't like about this one. And another thing I don't really like about this machine is right from day one from when I start, uh, got it, it takes quite a little bit to get it started. Um, I'm not sure why that is, but it just, it feels like, like when I'm starting, you gotta keep pulling, pulling, pulling. Um, and it takes probably like five or six pulls before it will start. Um, a lot of the machines I read now, they all say it's easy to start with one pull, but for me, I've never not had that uh, happen to me yet with one pull. I've always had me to pull this machine to get it started. Um, so that's actually only two things that I don't like about this machine. Everything else I do like about it. Um, so let me show you the features quickly of this. So it's got the, uh, this part, uh, for the handle, you got this and your, your other hand to make the throttle go. Um, here you've got your choke. So when you push this down, you turn around this way so you can see. So when you push this down, yeah, pull this up and you put the choke, choke down like that and the choke stays down. And then you pull it, and then when you want to get it into gear, you just uh, pull it, and it flips back up to where it should be. And to start it, or to stop it, you just flip this button up like that. I don't know if you can see that, or you just flip it up like that, and it stops. Um, and the priming ball is right here. So you got the nice priming ball here. Uh, your filter is right here. Um, and your muffler and whatnot is down right in here. So I should probably actually take that out and change it out, um, clean it out. I think it did that once, but it wasn't that dirty because we don't use it. Um, also, I probably should change the spark plug on this. I've never changed the spark plug. So that may actually be my issue with, with it starting. Um, so I may, I may do that because I've got lots of time right now. So I may actually take that out and clean that all up because that is a job I should be doing uh, on my off time. Um, so anyways, guys, yeah, if, you, if you're using uh, hash trimmers, let me know in the comments below what trimmer you're using and how you like it. Um, like I said, this is just like an entry level one for homeowners, uh, but for me, it's lasted a really long time. Um, I don't use it that often, like I said, but it does work really well for us. Um, 
Yeah, so this this trimmer, I really would recommend it if you're if you're not doing too much trimming. Uh, this is a great little trimmer. Um, I kind of wanted to buy the next one up, maybe and get a professional one, but for the amount that I'm doing, I don't really hardly use this, so I don't really think I need to upgrade it. Um, the price of this, I don't remember. I just looked online. Uh, Canadian online right now is $4.99, so it might might have been somewhere around that price. So it's it's not too expensive. Um, I think the next one up was probably like five or six hundred bucks. So I think that's probably why I ended up buying this when I did uh, because of the price. I didn't want to spend a lot of money on a hedge trimmer that I didn't know if I was going to be using a lot or not. Uh, but this this uh, guy has definitely made me my money back on it, and it's uh, definitely yeah a great little hedge trimmer. So guys, um, yeah, if you like I said, if you're looking for a hedge trimmer that's not too expensive, this is a great little one. Um, it's nice, nice and light, well balanced for me. Um, feels good in the hands, and uh, the blade length is really good for me. Yeah, it works really well. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. I don't have that much more to say about that. It's, it's a very nice little machine. Um, let me put that down for a second. So if you guys haven't done so already, please like the video, subscribe to, uh, subscribe to the channel. Um, I hope you enjoy that video. Uh, I'm hoping to try and do a couple more review videos uh, once the spring comes out and I can get back to my equipment and do uh, maybe some more review videos. Alright guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.